Hi, here's another AMC problem involving complex numbers. Find the number of ordered pairs of real numbers AB such that this complex number to the 2002 power is equal to this complex number. Okay, so looking at this, we see that we're representing a complex number Z to the 2002 power as equaling essentially the complex conjugate of Z. So that's the algebraic problem statement. Now, as usual, I like to visualize the problem statement graphically and explore the unit circle first. So let's see what we're dealing with. So let's imagine we have a number z on the unit circle in the complex plane, some angle theta. And the problem statement is such that we're going to take z, raise it to 2002 power. So essentially, we're going to multiply theta by 2002 wrap around the unit circle however many times, and we want to end up at the complex conjugate of z. So we know the complex conjugate of z is below the real axis at minus theta, and that looks to be possible. Again, we need to work out the details, but I see that there's probably some solutions lurking in that problem statement. So now examine z off the unit circle. We notice that if we pick z outside the unit circle, then the powers of z are going to spiral outward. And that doesn't really give us an opportunity to come back around and equal the complex conjugate of z. So that doesn't look like it's going to work. Likewise, if we choose z inside the unit circle, the powers of z are going to spiral inward. And that's not going to lead to a solution. So it looks like we have to be on the unit circle. So given that, we can write z in polar form as e to the i theta, the conjugate of z, e to the minus i theta, and rewrite this algebraic expression as e to the i theta, 2002, e to the minus i theta. Multiply both sides by e to the i theta. So substituting z back in, we see that the solutions in z are basically the 2003 roots of 1, which is sort of a dense set of points equally distributed around the unit circle. Too many to actually count. So it looks like our answer is 2003, but that's not one of the answer choices. So we certainly have more roots than choice D, so the answer is probably E, which means we're probably missing one of the solutions. And if you stare at this problem a little more carefully, you realize that the problem with Z inside the unit circle is only true for Z greater than zero. And if we actually choose Z at the origin, that also satisfies the problem statement. So we have to add zero to our list of solutions. This gives us 2004 in total for choice E. Hope that was clear, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.